PowerPoint is also capable for having interactive quizzes and games. Although there are templates available online, it is quite easy to do it on your own. This is because hyperlinks work on PowerPoint within your presentation. And once you have some question in mind, you can create a short quiz. In this case, here is a short sure-false quiz about geography for this demonstration. First is you have to open your PowerPoint presentation and open a new slide and type in the title of your quiz. You can also add some additional information about the quiz. Add an image that will be in line with your topic by clicking on the Insert tab, then choose Pictures. Click and drag the picture to where you want it to be on the slide. Then move on to the next slide and create your question in the title box. Add reply options to your questions by going to the Insert tab and click Text box. Type in the options, which in this case it is the True or False button. Then add an image that will be in line with your topic by clicking on the Insert tab and choose Pictures. Click and drag the picture to where you want it to be on the slide. And when you're done doing the first question, add an additional slide saying that the learner has chosen the right answer or a congratulatory message. In the content box, add a phrase that will encourage students to continue the quiz. Perform the same actions to create the wrong answer slide, which will be displayed when test takers make a wrong choice. But this time, give your learners a chance to go back to the question and try again. Go to the Insert tab, and at the bottom of the Shape Tools menu, you will see the action buttons. Select action button custom and draw button. Select hyperlink to the last slide viewed. All the buttons are simply hyperlinked to the another slide in the presentation. And to add the hyperlink, right click on the text box. In the open window, choose place in this document and select the necessary correct or incorrect slide. To continue navigation from the feedback slides, add the hyperlink to the continue quiz text. And to let your learners go back to the question, open the slide for incorrect answers and click on the try again text. Add the hyperlink to the question where the learner made a mistake. Compose the other question and answer slides for your quiz in the same way. And go on adding the correct and incorrect answer slides after each question of your PowerPoint quiz. Test your quiz to make sure it does what it's supposed to do and keep tweaking until it does. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. You may also click and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified from whenever we release new videos.